Polygon just got wiped out. Polygon is the biggest loser right now in the top 100 at the time of this recording. You guys know how I feel about Polygon. I absolutely love it, okay? And it doesn't change at all because it's down 26%. Because here's the thing. Nothing has fundamentally changed with Polygon. Nothing at all. And that goes for a lot of these cryptos down. Cardano, Shiba Inu, nothing has fundamentally changed. This is a coordinated attack against crypto, against altcoins in particular, and against some of these tokens that were listed in the lawsuit that went against Binance and Coinbase, right? You had Solana, you had Polygon, you had Cardano, all being delisted off Robinhood now. These were some of the big names, household names, top 15 crypto names that were listed in these lawsuits. Now, now again, these aren't uh, you know lawsuits against these crypto projects. They're against Binance and Coinbase. These crypto projects just happen to be flies on the wall uh, and be wrapped into all of this. But again, going back to Polygon, I think this opens the door for a massive opportunity. Now, I want to zoom out here a little bit. And keep in mind, Polygon, back in 2022, June of 2022, we saw the massive sell-off after the Terra Luna collapse. Polygon went all the way down to 38 cents. 38 cents. 34 cents on the 18th of June 2022. 34 cents. We're sitting at 56 cents right now. Why am I saying this? When in doubt, zoom out. We were in a way, way worse position back in June of last year. It's interesting that it's happening here again in June, right? Uh, June seems to be, those summer months seem to be the months where crypto just crashes, right? Happened in 2021. Uh, it happened in 2022. And it's happening here in 2023. The three years that I have been heavily invested in watching the markets very closely in crypto, it's happened all three Junes. It's interesting. Uh, they do say make your money in May and go away, right? Well, that's kind of what's happening right now in crypto, right? Make your money in May and go away. All the meme coin hype seems to have died down. All coins are all crashing. Bitcoin's coming down from its local tops. But with Polygon, nothing has fundamentally changed here, guys. They are still the bridge between enterprise companies and Web3. They're doing a better job at that than anybody else. Anybody else. With their strategic partnerships. Their technology is second to none. Their tie-in with Ethereum makes them the strongest Layer 2 protocol out there. Attached to the second largest crypto in the world. Great leadership. Cross the board. Nothing has changed. Nothing has fundamentally changed. So when I look at this, it's a coordinated attack. You got to look at it, in my opinion, as an opportunity. And maybe it's not Polygon for you, right? Now, I will say this, full disclosure, Polygon's one of those ones I bought on the dip, under 60 cents here. Okay. And uh, SHIB was another one, under 506. And I'll be looking elsewhere, too. And, and, you know, again, I'm not going even all in yet. I'm just, these are opportunities to me to buy at low price points. The reason is if I can get more Polygon at around where my average cost is or lower, I'm going to take up, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go for that, right? Because again, nothing has fundamentally changed for me. I love what Polygon stands for. We've been talking about it since it was ranked in the 50s, way back in 2021. And it's only gained steam. So you're seeing a lot of sell pressure right now, people freaking out. And that's fine. But keep in mind, we were in way worse shape a year ago. 34 cents. We're at 56 cents right now. Okay, So that's my take right now on Polygon. I still love it for the long-term future. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hang in there. I know it feels brutal, but it's never as good or bad as it seems. We'll get through this. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you.